I greet you all in the name of Jesus, my viewers, wherever you are. My name is Flora Cheptum Buzu. And um, today I want to share a topic about honoring your parents as a child. Um, all of us are children of our mothers and our dads, including me. I'm a child of my mother and my dad. You also, it doesn't matter how old you are, you are a child of your mother and your dad, wherever you are. Today, I want to discuss about honoring our parents. Um, there is a scripture that, it, that we read from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 1. It says, um, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. You can also get it from Proverbs 6.20. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise. Mark there, a promise. Um, sometimes we've taken this scripture We've read this scripture to the children, small children. We've always even asked them to memorize. It is a memory verse to our children. And sometimes our children may not even understand what that scripture means. I want to speak to everyone that is listening to me. It doesn't matter how old you are, because you are a child of your mother, and a child of your father. Unless you drop from heaven. I want to say this. Um, we are a gift. Children are a gift from God. When, when uh, Penina had children and did not have children, and Penina mocked her co-wife and blasted her because she didn't have children. And that hurt her so much. Penina was paining so much from the inside. It didn't matter what the husband told the wife, even assuring her that he loved her. And gave her the best things that he, 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 he was giving to, 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 the, to the wives. Anne was given the best things just to give her peace, to give her joy. But none, none of those things that the husband gave her, gave her peace from deep within her heart. And Anne went to the church. And she went and cried to God. She cried to God to the point that she was, she prayed until the priest mistook her to, for a drunkard. But Anne knew what she was, she was, she wanted from God. So she sought God and she cried to God and told God, I want you to give me a child. And God honored Anne, and she got a baby boy called Samuel. Now, Anne promised God that if you give me this child, I'll give him back to, the, to, 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 to serve you in the church. And that's exactly what Anne did. What do I want to say this? You women... I want you to know 
know that children are a gift from God. The fact that you didn't go to cry to God. Uko na baati sana. Because you didn't have to struggle to get that child. So count it a blessing. And you should, you should, you should always thank God and, and protect them and keep them and, and treat them nicely because these are gifts that we are given from God. So what I want to say is this. You are a gift to your mother and your dad. You don't know how they, they, they struggle to get you. Maybe some of you just came by through thin and thick, thick and thin to get, just like Anne went through. So, today, I want to speak about the promise. What God promised us in the, in the Bible. He talked of us honoring our parents. Honoring our parents. How many of you honor them? How many of you visit with them? How many of you who remember them? How many of you who look after their aged parents? Some of you, you have abandoned them. The aging parents, you have abandoned them in the villages. After he struggled so hard to educate you, he gave you the knowledge that you have. Immediately you got a job. Immediately you got your wife. Or immediately you got your husband. You took off. And you disappeared into thin air. And you forgot to go back and honor your parents. And take care of them. I'm not talking to little children. I'm not talking to small children. I'm talking to you. Who is listening today? You are a child of your mother and you are a child of your dad. Oh, yeah. Now, the Bible talks of honor your parents in the Lord. For this is right. And he says, honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. My God is not a liar. What he has written here, it is true. Those, those who honor their parents, their lives this promise that God gave them, it will follow them wherever you go. God will bless you. The promise will come to pass because what you have done to your parents will, all, will also come back to you. Your children will re reciprocate as you go on aging. I want to say this, our God is a faithful God and God cannot lie. I want to tell you that my God is faithful. As I was growing up as a, as a girl, I didn't know him. I really suffered. Because I found myself disabled. And now when I went to high school, 
I saw girls, my fellow girls, enjoying friends. They used to visit, be visited by friends. But I never had an opportunity to be visited. And I concluded immediately that maybe I'm not visited because I'm physically challenged. Maybe I don't have friends because nobody can look at me and just like me. And what I used to see with the rest of the girls, they used to, it seems to be, to enjoy life. I used to look at them and whatever I used to see, because they were visited by brothers, but they are friends, boyfriends in quotes. And that really used to hurt me. And so I didn't see the reason for living on earth. That was now when I was a teenager. I didn't see the reason. I even thought God didn't love me. I even thought God hated me. But then one day when I heard his word, when I listened to his word, it was being preached. And God, I gave my life to Jesus. When I gave my life to Jesus, God did a transformation in my life. I don't know how, but something happened in my life. The burden that I carried, it was so heavy on me. I, I felt it was rolling away. I had a lot of peace, the peace that I didn't have. He gave me a lot of peace. God allowed me again, gave me, just he made me to love myself once again. And the, the greatest thing that happened, I fell in love for the first time with God. And I felt his presence in my life. And he assured me that he loved me. I want to say this. Immediately after salvation, immediately I was, I, 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 I gave my life to Christ. I was given joy. Whatever I used to see diminished. It became nothing. So, really God did a miracle in my life. After God forgiving me, forgave, he forgave, first of all, he forgave my sins. And then he gave me a new life. I surrendered to him. And he changed me completely. He made me a new creature. Today, I've enjoyed fellowship with God. Today, I've enjoyed walking with God. And I've seen his faithfulness. So whatever changed immediately was what used to bother me with the girls in my school was no longer an issue to me. Because there is a promise that God gave me in his word. I read Jeremiah 29, 11. God promises me a future. Maybe I should read that scripture. Jeremiah 29, 11. God promised me, let me read so that I don't this is the word of God that immediately after I gave my life to him. And because I didn't see myself a valuable person. Because first I didn't have friends. I didn't have someone to love. I didn't know anybody who, who showed any interest in me. And that really bothered me. But immediately I found a friend in Jesus. This is the promise God gives me. He says in his word, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And he tells me there, Then 
you shall call upon me. And you shall go and pray to me. And I will hearken you. I will hear your voice. That was a great promise that God gave me. And I took it seriously. Why did I share this testimony? Because he, God promises and he fulfills. I had peace after. I had joy. I was able to live a peaceful life. I was able to continue with my studies. So God honors promises. Now back to our topic. He says, honor your parents. Honor your mother and father. And he attaches a promise. To whoever does that, it doesn't matter. You could be very far away. You've gone far away from your parents. You don't look back. God has blessed you. God has given you a job. God has given you a property. You have so much. But your, your, some of your parents are staying in grass type houses. You completely disappeared. I want to say some of our parents are, are, have, are aging. They need your support. You've left them there. And you've forgotten them. Let me tell you. The promise will never work for you. If the promise of God that he said I'll give you, he promised me that he's going to give me a future. And today I'm here, things that I was worried about, that maybe I'll never get somebody who, to love me. Maybe I'll never get children. Maybe I'll never, I was just like Anne. Maybe I'll never do one, one two, three. Today, I have all those things that God promised me. He is faithful to his word. I want to talk to the children. I want to tell you. You children, even if you are 50 years old. You children of your mother and father. Go back. Think about these things. Just reflect. How are your parents in the villages? Do you visit them? Do you make calls to, to, to talk with them? Especially if you are far. Do you honor them? Do you thank them for what they have done to your lives? Are you a thankful person to your children, to your, to your parents? He says in Ephesians chapter 3, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, Honor your father and mother, which is the first command, commandment with a promise. And, this, and then he says in verse 3, that it may be well with you and you may live long on earth. That it may be well with you. And you may live long on earth. So have you ever wondered why sometimes things are not going well with us? Why sometimes our lives are just cut short? Maisha itu naenda inakuishia hapa njiani. The same God who has promised long life. The same God who has given us a command, it, 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 a commandment of a promise of honoring our parents. It is a command honoring our parents. The same God looks at it, looks at you and sees whether you are fulfilling that. 
The same God looks at our parents wherever they are. I want to encourage the children. Maybe your parents have, have wronged you. Some of them have, have, have abandoned you. Some of them fought with one another, mother and father. And they have separated. They separated. Let me tell you, dear child, dear child of 50 years, child of 70 years, child of 100 years, it doesn't matter. A mother and father remains your parents. Nothing changes that. Nothing, nothing changes that. It doesn't matter whether they wanted to kill you and you ran away. It doesn't matter the sins of the, what they did. But let me tell you this. This is a command from our creator, God. He has not given us the conditions that if they are going to behave like what? He has not. He has just said, honor them. In whatever situation that they are in, just honor them. And then all these things shall follow you. This and this, this and everything will be well with you. And you will live long on earth. And I want to assure you, the same God will honor what you have done to your parents. Will honor you because you have followed his command. You have obeyed his command to honor your parents. Many parents are crying in the villages. Many parents are paining because you have no regard to your parents. So this is my prayer, dear viewers, my dear listeners. We are in so many issues. We are, we, we are finding ourselves in difficult situations in our lives. Sometimes when you reach a certain age, because of what you did to your parents, your, your children also will do it to you. Because you don't have a blessings from God. So I, I pray that God, that you, 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 you obey this command from God. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 to 3. And you will see the fruit. As I told you, how God honored his promise towards me. I didn't know that it would work, but it worked. There is a song I've sung in Kalenjin. I've said thank you God. That is just, that is just thanking God for the many things. There are so many things that God did for me. There, there are so many promises that worked in my life. On, God honored those promises for my life. And I was able to sing a song to him. I was able to honor him by telling him thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So today, I request they are children, children, not babies, not children of five years, not children of two years, ten years. It is all of us. May God bless you. We continue coming up with several other topics about the same. God bless you.